Welcome back to the channel. Okay, let's get straight into it. We are doing another update for Sia. Well, as you can see on the 4 hour time frame, we are going sideways for a while now. And not much is really happening to be honest. But it has broken above that point which I drew. So hopefully if we carry on like this for a couple of more days, maybe 5 or 7 days more, then maybe we slowly slowly start pushing back up. But we need to see like something like this. So if I draw the frame and we stick to something like this, we have to stick to something like this. Slowly but surely we are going up. That's a clear indication but it could also be a bearish flag to just break back down. So there's a win-win on both sides. Let's go straight into the daily. These big candles that you're seeing over here which has fallen, they will definitely have a great influence. Only when we start breaking above 0 0.973 again we'll get to know whether we're going up or not. Or to retest this point, maybe come back down. And in the weekly, weekly still looking fine. Weekly still maintaining this point of 0 0.809 and hopefully we don't go lower than that because last time we can see over here on this green candle we did bounce on the same level that was on the 22nd of Jan oh no sorry 15th of Jan we bounced on this level and went back up so if that happens and we do push back up that'll be a great thing big win for a lot of people that have bought down here but I would like to say one thing that if you have bought on the top and you're asking whether you should sell or not, maybe thinking it's going to go lower. Well, it's not financial advice. If I were you, I would not do that. I just waited out, wait out the storm like I did last time and people said I got wrecked. But I knew it was going to go back up because I can see the points. The main thing is not to get greedy. If you get greedy and think, it's going to actually like uh, go higher up after such a big fall then you're sadly mistaken my friends the thing is to take piece of the cake and run so I took quite a lot of the cake and I ran I didn't really care less whether it was going to go down or not I did buy last time somewhere out here and then people thought I got wrecked but as what I calculated I took some of the pie because just in case if another candle had to form here and that was a fake out I would already lose this dip itself so there's no point in being greedy you can take whatever you get and run with it so I hope that answers the question for some of y'all out there who have bought high and then didn't have the opportunity to sell and now you're on loss so I'm not giving any financial advice but hold on there wait out the storm because that's all you can do and yeah that's about it not really much to say on this it's just a short video because it's still going sideways uh, addressing some of the comments please do like comment and subscribe or like the video at least I will get to know whether we can move into landscape mode or we'll just stick to what we have right now because it's more convenient any which way Alright, so see you in the next one. Peace.